Cabbage Harvest. Your produce man, Michael Marks, is live in Cortland learning what it takes to get this winter gourd to your dinner table. Hey, Michael. Hey, Lisa and Ken, look at this. Oh, hey. Whoa, put that down. I, 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 I brought my hard winter squash knife with me. You're ready. I am ready for this. Oh, my goodness. Hey, if you turn around, look at this gorgeous uh, sunrise coming up. Man, that's just beautiful coming up. Yeah. Uh, we're out here at Sutter Island, one of the many islands here in the Delta, uh, just south of Cortland. And we just wind our way out here, these little levee roads. And I'm, I'm just fortunate that Scott and I found each other on this road here. Uh, but what you're looking at right behind me, uh, this is hard winter squash. So when I say soft, you say uh, hard. hard. Hard, okay. When I say summer, you say winter. There you go. Okay. See, uh, when I first start <laughs> When I first started in the produce industry, uh, we basically had summer squash and we had winter squash, and that's what it was. And when I first started in the produce industry in 1979, let me show you the squash that I had to deal with. This is the squash I had. It, this is called uh, this is called a banana squash. Look how huge Whoa. this wow. thing is. What are you doing? Thing. I I hated these things. Because, you know, I would cut my, I had to get my knife out. You had to cut these into the little portions, you know. It was just awful. But that's what, that's the hard winter squash that I had when I was started in, in the industry. Uh, it's grown up a little bit, huh? Hello. Dave Vieira? It has. Good morning. So this is Dave Vieira who met us all the way out here uh, this morning. Uh, Dave from, uh, you probably know from Dave's pumpkin patch, right? By the way, we going to have a good weekend for the pumpkin patch? going to have a huge weekend. The sun's going to be out. It's going to be fall-like weather. It's going to be perfect. Oh, it's going to be perfect. So if you want, oh, by the way, look at these late season pumpkins. He planted these late and I wanted to show you something really quick. Look at the color on this thing. Oh, yeah. That is one of the most gorgeous pumpkins I've seen. And uh, this is what he has coming in. So this butterkin squash, it originated uh, in New Zealand, came about uh, about uh, in 2014, there's like six growers in all of the United States. And guess who one of these growers was? Right here, Dave Vieira. Yep. You got a hold of this thing. I did. Did you fall in love with this thing? I did right from the very beginning. I liked the, the shape, the look, and then once we planted it, we grew it and ate it, and it, I liked it even more. So if you like a butternut squash, you're gonna love this butterkin. I can't wait to show you. I'm not gonna show you just yet what this butterkin looks like. It's one of the most gorgeous, tiny little squashes that you're gonna find. Remember, it's a hard winter squash, and when I cut this thing open with this big hard winter squash knife, you are gonna be amazed what it looks like inside. Oh, man. Oh, all right, looking forward to it. You put that knife to good use. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Uh, we know that you will, sir. Your produce man, Michael Marks, out there in his element. Love it. He, we always learn something. I know. Every single time he does one of his produce reports, I learn something about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We Courtney and I were just talking about that. that. Just yesterday, we were talking That's about that. that. That every time Michael Marks comes on, we're like this. Exactly. Like, yeah. wait a minute, what? Because he literally teaches you, you something every single time. Exactly. You make What'd you say? Interesting. He makes onions interesting. That's true. Yes, he does. Yes, it's he does. true. I think it's also the passion that he has for yeah. it. You can tell he's super excited yes. about it and he knows what he's talking about. That always comes through, yes. no matter what. I love his tips. The tip I always remember to, is the uh, watermelon because you know, can get messy to slice the bottom yes. off, right? Yes. Yeah. But if you cut the bottom off and put it on your cutting board and slice that way, it keeps uh -huh. the juices mm -hmm. from spreading all over. See? He knows something.